Okay. <laughs> this one's closed. This one, this one's closed, right? This one's open, right? Okay. The Donald Glover's characters. I and then you gotta hit him with the force. What a cry! I was gonna say coffee content. Cause this I got. Is, I'm definitely. I, good, but that's just my personal opinion. Tell them what else they should do, babe. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so this is the world's strongest coffee. It's called Biohazard. Let's talk about it. So welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do all kinds of coffee videos and sleeping videos. And we tried some uh, strongest coffee. It was called, what was it called? Death Wish. Death Wish. And if you guys remember that, it was pretty darn good. We did a lot of not so great things in the video. But um, now, Biohazard was like, no, 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 we are way stronger. So this is what they sent us. What does it say on the back here? It says at 928 milligrams per 12 ounces, this coffee contains four times the caffeine of coffee your barista normally serves you. It says it may result in overproductivity, all nighters, and the occasional feeling of invincibility. That's quite a claim. Let's, mm -hmm. let's see. Yeah, we could, we could weigh this all out and measure it all out, but most people, they're not gonna do that. They're just gonna, you know, scoop it and drink it. So yeah, I'm doing pour over. We got a little bloom here, little bloom. Get in there. I can't smell anything. You can't smell anything? Hmm. A little bit. A little bit? It doesn't have a lot of aroma. No, it doesn't. Interesting. Kind of, well, it kind of smells burnt. A little burnt? A little, but. Why are you whispering all of a what sudden? What do I know? This way, Master Wayne. <laughs> Apparently you have really nice feet. Really? I get a lot of comments about your feet. Bam! Oh. I have not had a pedicure in weeks, folks. Why do I have nice feet? I don't know. Do you guys really think I have nice feet? Thank Apparently. you. Oh, they're kind of dirty though. <laughs> this is personal. Yeah. What cup did you pick for this review? So for those of you who don't know, mm -hmm. I have a Starbucks cup obsession, like the tumblers and the mugs. And these, this is called the Been There series. And this is my one from Disney. Mm -hmm. She's my favorite. It's got Big Thunder Mountain, oh. the castle, Matterhorn. All right, so I chose a Phoenix cup. This is the Starbucks Phoenix cup. And I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks, but I do love their mugs. Like they're really cool, mm -hmm. really good art. What's your usual? Normally I just do a little bit of like a creamer that's already sweetened, so I don't really use sugar. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, I use the sugar that's already in there. I don't add extra. You don't want to try it before you? Oh, I could try yours. I already put oh. sugar in mine. You ever tried Bailey's out of a shoe? <laughs> <laughs> ever tried Bailey's out of a shoe? Fuzzy little man, Peach. Hmm? You ever drunk Bailey's from a shoe? Oh Does boy. more water? <laughs> That'll slap the <laughs> off you. <laughs> no, it tastes really good, actually. I don't know. Let me, let me add my little milk and sugar. No, this is actually, I cannot believe how good this tastes for how, it didn't smell, it didn't have any aroma. But it tastes, I was, I'm actually really impressed for how strong that is. Like normally you have like a lot of bitterness with caffeine. So if you're brewing, if you're blending a coffee just for strength, like it's gonna taste bitter, but this is very smooth. I think it just right out of the gate, it was shocking to me like of how strong, strong it is. I don't think it's as smooth as you're like saying. I, the, it needs a little more uh, milk and sugar for me, I feel like. For having three times as much caffeine as a normal cup of coffee, it's remarkably not bitter. But let's add more water just to make sure that it's not, unless I dilute it and maybe I, did I add? No, oh, oh, you gotta look at it from this angle because you can see his head popping out too. What in the world? <laughs> so guys, we have a new cat castle and you can see what we're talking about here. <laughs> Reggie's living his best life. <laughs> Luna's up there and Reggie's down here. What do you actually think about this? Well, I normally don't drink like just like pour over or hot coffee anymore. Normally I do cold brew, which ends up being a little smoother, I think. I think it tastes a little smoother. So maybe that's why, cause I'm just so used to drinking cold brew that this seems more bitter. I don't know. Probably. I mean, it's good though. Kind of tastes like pretzels. <laughs> 
I definitely had to doctor it up a little bit, but I do that with normal coffee anyway. I think this would make good iced coffee too, if you oh, were to like yeah. pour it over some ice mm -hmm. and then add your cream and sugar or whatever, and then, you know, it would dilute it a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of why I made this strong, because I knew I was gonna add this, I'm not gonna drink all that, I'm gonna add it later. Mm -hmm. So I, I know this will hold up well to ice. Okay, so Death Wish is $20 for 16 ounces. And Biohazard is the same same price. So I'm thinking this actually might be a better buy. Which is stronger, Death Wish or this? Biohazard is stronger than Death Wish coffee. We have used Death Wish coffee before. We switched to Biohazard. And this person says, I think Death, Death Wish is stronger, but Biohazard has a finer grade. I use less Biohazard because it's so fine. Not one cup should have all of the power. <laughs> This one is titled, Directions for Insomnia, Indeed. Well, I follow the directions to a T, and yes, I do believe I have insomnia. I drank this at 10 a.m. yesterday, and was up until 1.30 a.m., and then drank a few beers to knock myself out. <laughs> Woke up at 6 a.m. this morning and could still feel it. This poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> My friend said it felt like a kick to his face and he couldn't even finish one six ounce cup. Okay, this is interesting. This is coming from someone who does not like coffee, apparently. First of all, I don't like the taste of coffee. I drink it for the caffeine. I work security at night, so staying awake and not jittery is important. The taste, well, it tastes like strong coffee. I use cream and sugar, so taste isn't a factor. Caffeine, it's there. Excuse me. <laughs> I do not get the jitters with this. My go-to drink outside of coffee is Redline, but that messes with my stomach. But not Biohazard Coffee. It's pricey and I'm still experimenting with blending it with Folgers. Oh, interesting. That might be a kind of good idea if like you just want the caffeine content to like stretch this out more, mm -hmm. maybe mix it with something else. Ah! I was gonna say <laughs> coffee content, but like that. I'm definitely ah. getting like a buzz right now. Like, are you talking in slow motion? I think it's my can my cantex. My cantex. <laughs> this one's closed. Is this one this one's closed, right? This one's open, right? Okay. I think it tastes better than Death Wish, but that's just my personal opinion. Tell them what else they should do, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I just thought of? Well, what? <laughs> what is going on here? I just thought of that episode of Community. I don't remember what they were talking about, but Donald Glover's characters, like, and then you gotta hit him with the force. What a cry. <laughs> you gotta hit him. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'm definitely having that. I gotta wipe it away. It won't wipe away. Uh, I think we're done here. <laughs> so I would say this is the total buy. You can check out the link below for 20 bucks a bag. You can blend this with other coffees, no problem. If you just want that extra kick, um, I think it has better flavor than a lot of you know strong coffees I've tried. Um, tell them what else they should do. You should check out our other coffee content by clicking right over here. Sleeping videos, mattresses, all the goods over here. And right down here to subscribe. We will see y'all in the next video. Peace.